All right, we got five sets, 85 to 90% RP in the front squat. We're going up to eight heavy reps on the dumbbell rows. Um, very very self-explanatory here. All right, teams of two for the conditioning. One person uh, rowing while the other one lunges, then switch for time. Uh, I'm sorry I wrote this like this, but I'll explain in a second. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Um, lunge steps, alternating legs, and then cals on the rower. Uh, for ladies, I put 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, 10, 10, 5 and I put an 18-minute time cap on this. So three, two, one, go, Susie and I are partners. I start rowing 50 cows. She's going to do 50 lunge steps, unweighted, okay, walking lunge steps. Then she, my goal is I'm going to bust my butt on the rower so that she doesn't have such a really big break and vice versa. And then as soon as Susie gets back, I get off the rower. I start doing my lunges. She does her row, and we move that way down there. Um, so uh, it's going to be like that. I put the 18-minute cap just so the class didn't go a little too long because I know that for some people these can be a lot of cows. But, um, you know, do a good job partnering up. But I thought this would be a fun one uh, for everyone to do together. Um, like I said, the lunges, I would prefer them unweighted because at the end of the day, the goal of the lunger, the unweighted lunger, is to get back in time for them to have a break because you should get right off the rower and start going while that other person's rowing. So uh, I went with unweighted. So if you get, but if people really want it, I'm sure they could do it, but just it probably wouldn't be great for this type of work.